Hello guys and welcome to my first tutorial on how to make a server um, 1.9.2 on Minecraft so let's get right into it first you want to create a folder um, a server folder where you're gonna keep all the stuff very organized um, so you want to go to the first link in the description and this is the bucket GUI you download it if it wants to download okay it's think Alright, so it's basically about to finish. Um, once that's done, it's gonna. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna open this folder, and what you wanna do is you wanna drag that bucket GUI into your server folder. Um, get it going? Yeah. So, next thing you wanna do is go to the spigot, the second link in the description, and you can either get spigot or craft bucket. Um, I suggest you get Spigot, it runs better on servers. It's the same thing as Craft Bucket, basically you can put in plugins, same thing. So you click download Spigot and it should download it. Alright, so sorry about that. Once you have um the Spigot jar file, you drag it in here. You wanna make sure that it's a um um you wanna make sure it's a jar file because if it's not it's a WinRAR file. I, what I had to do is uninstall WinRAR. Um, or just try to find a way to convert into a jar file. So you're going to open Bucket GUI. So once that opens, you're going to have your console, your players, your starter, everything here. You even have port forwarding, but that it's experimental. And it doesn't work for me. It works for some people though. Um, so where you want to click here, you want to go to Spigot. You want to choose your Java version. Make sure it's like the latest one. If you don't know, um, it's better just to install a new one. So what you do is you go to the link in the description, java.com. Um, you click free Java download, and then you agree and set it up. Basically, that's how you set up Java. Um, let me see here. So next thing you do is select your Java file. You're going to choose the spigot one, which is this one. It should be in the same folder. Then here, I suggest you don't mess with minimum. You have to mess with the the maximum. So here I have five. It, it should be in one when it comes in. Um, but I give it five gigs of RAM. You can choose as much as you want, depending on the computer you have, if it can handle it. So next thing you do is just launch server. And it's going to, it should stop you right now. Because it says fail to load all of the text. EULA. So you go here and you click, you type, you take it off, you click true, and you save that, controls, control save, and then once you have that, it should be able to just click here start, and it's gonna, it's gonna reload, it's gonna take some time, but whatever, I mean it's preparing a whole server, so yeah, but as I said, here you have your players. Here you can change the RAM anytime. You have issues, your tasker, your plugins, editor, backup, settings, whatever you want. I suggest you don't mess with anything here. Just play around with this. So once that's done, your server should be up and running. Um, here you have everything. You have your plugins folder, so you can drop some plugins. I will be making some plugin tutorials on 1.9.2 because I know they're different. And it's harder to to find them and download them the right version so that they work. Um, but yeah, so the way you get people to connect is you either port forward or you do Hamachi. Hamachi is pretty simple. You give them the you create a network, they connect, that's it, and you give them your IP. Now for port forwarding, it's a little bit complicated. It's different. It's not complicated. You go to here. Um, you go to internet and then you Open a new tab, and you tap, you type like um, forward, forwarding, and then you type in your, your, whatever company you have. So I have AT and T, and then it should, um, easy port forwarding. So you click here, the Comcast, whatever you have. It's gonna. It's basically a tutorial. There's thousands of tutorials on, on YouTube, and you can follow them. It should be something easy as hell. It's just like going into a website and just basically putting all the information. Yeah. So, 
um once that's done you should be able to just give your give your your friends your ip which you can just find by going to you type here my ip you type my ip and it should just give it to you right there but i'm not going to show you my <laughs> um but yeah it should be right there on there on google um what else uh, if that IP does not work and they cannot connect to your server, that means you got to give them the IP4. So you can Google it. Um, it's called IP4. So how to find your IP4. So basically, it tells you step by step how to find your IP address 4. And then that should be the IP. That's the one I use. Um, for it's gonna be it's gonna be the IP for your server. Um, so that's what I use. I will provide my server IP on the bottom. You guys should just add it to your Minecraft and see if it's ever on, and we can all play. I'll be I'll be more than happy to play with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll be making more videos about bucket plugins and everything. I do have my server here, and that's how I, this is how I run it, and. Later, if it keeps on growing, I'm going to switch it to 24-hour server hosting. But for now, this is what I'm using. It's basically something easy and simple that you can use. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching.